Knowledge in here at Bob's Burgers. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Knowledge Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we're on a best burger search as we visit Bub's Nola, which got started back in 2020 as a pop-up restaurant. Bub's Nola is located in New Orleans' Mid-City neighborhood at 4413 Bank Street, which is about 11 minutes and 4 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This burger joint has become noted for their smash burgers, which they offer in multiple varieties along with some above average sides that are not what you typically find at most burger spots. This is my first visit here and I'm really curious to check it out and see what the burger options are as it sounds like a really interesting place and I'm excited to check this place out. They also have a bunch of things saying Bub's Burger, so there's a little uh, back and forth between the place's name being Bub's Nola and Bub's Burgers. And they also have a whole lot of interesting stuff throughout this entire restaurant. You can see they've got some nice outdoor seating with the picnic tables here, but it's really hot outside today, so I'm going inside. Bub's Nola is also right next door to Bank Street Bar, and Bank Street Bar actually has an order window that connects the bar with Bub's Nola, so you can order the burgers from there too. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So of course they've got the placemat with their name on it, like so many restaurants. And when you first walk in the door, there's a lot of seating area fun, and they tell us to go to the right to order this way. So let's check out what they've got, and wow, they have a whole lot of t-shirts available here, so that's an interesting thing. They've got some of the t-shirts in frame, so they have quite a wide variety of different items here. So you get quite a selection of the logo of Bub's Nola, and then they kind of have a black and white picture of the exterior of the restaurant. And here's the area where you go up to order, but first, before you order, you've got to take a look at this menu up here to decide what you're going to get. And they have quite a nice selection of items, so let's check this menu out. So we have a Palmyra Pimento, single patty topped with pimento cheese, bacon crumbles, Tabasco pepper jelly, grilled onions, Bub's Burger, double patty, grilled onions, American cheese, B&B pickles, Bub sauce, micro dose, single patty, Bub Royale, double patty, American cheese, red onion, tomato, Bib lettuce, B&B pickles, Bub sauce, Rodeo adobo, double patty, pepper jack cheese, jalapenos, chipotle adobo sauce, onion ring. Barbecue bacon cheddar bub, double beef patty, bacon cheddar cheese, diced onion, spicy mayo, homemade barbecue sauce, peanut butter, double patty, American cheese, creamy peanut butter, bacon, mushroom bacon Swiss, double patty, sauteed mushroom Swiss, bacon aioli, impossible burger, plant-based patty, grilled onions, American cheese, B&B pickles, bub sauce, extras, egg, bacon, bub sauce, ranch, cheese sauce, beef patty, additional toppings, sauteed mushroom, puppy patty, plain top of dog treat, cookie, peanut butter, or chocolate chip. Then we have our sandwiches with a grilled cheese, a playthrough, which is a fried egg, bacon, American cheese, tomato, a regular spicy mayo, Nola hot sausage, Patton's hot sausage patty, American cheese, pickles, shredded lettuce, tomato, spicy mayo. Our sides are French fries, cheese fries, onion rings, Brussels sprouts, D-Gen, fries or rings, cheese sauce, chopped bacon, jalapenos, and ranch. Then Little Bub's, Little Bub burger, single patty, plain with American cheese, Little Girl cheese, melted American cheese on a brioche bun, and toasted PB&J. Currently, they do fall a little bit short in the drink selection as you can only get drinks out of this case here, and no unsweet iced tea for me, oh no. So you put your order in and pay at the order counter. So I ordered a Rodeo Adobo burger, Brussels sprouts, and a water to drink. My total with tip was $22.82. So while I waited for my burger to be prepared, I checked out some of the artwork in here, and then they also had a couple of items that really caught my eye, as they had some old school video games here. So that's some nice flashbacks to my arcade days, and this burger time machine, I haven't seen one of these in forever. And they also had more than just burger time on this machine, they had a selection of mini games you could play. So that's a pretty awesome thing to keep you occupied with those video games there. You also have a nice selection of different tables to set out in this area. And they have some more artwork that goes along with each of their hamburgers. It's kind of fun. So it's good to check out all of the different things around here to see some really creative things to go along with their different burgers. It's uh, quite an entertainment. Now here's the burger I got, the Rodeo Adobo. You got to try it. 
And uh, I don't think that actually had the coolest uh, little artwork for it though. But at your table, you've got a nice selection of uh, salt, pepper, and hot sauce. Now my dining companion got a burger with onion rings. So while I was waiting for my food, I decided to sneak a little taste of these delicious looking onion rings. Oh yeah, look at here. Okay, so they are fried very nicely. It's got a good batter on the outside. And the onions have a nice sweet flavor to them. Of course, a whole onion just came out of the batter on that one. So these are pretty darn good onion rings. Uh, you know, I could use a little more spice in the batter. I've had some better onion rings, I've had worse uh, onion rings, but overall these are pretty solid onion rings, so I would certainly not object to eating these onion rings again. So they certainly are quite a good side to order here, and uh, if you're in the area and love some onion rings, these are some decent ones to check out. And here we go, I'm going to eat the last little snacky snack onion ring I'm going to get before I move on to my own food. <laughs> Uh oh, so this uh, is actually going down pretty easy. Uh, it's not at all messy. The batter's staying on very well. So just like I've destroyed these onion rings, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about these onion rings. And while you're down there, make sure to check out like my Patreon account. I do it for tips. I appreciate any help with that. So my Rodeo Adobo Burger and my Brussels sprouts finally arrived, and they look pretty darn good. I can't wait to dig in. Oh, oh, oh. So this is a decent sized burger. And it looks like there's a good meat bun ratio, and we'll see if it stays together. Hopefully the structural integrity will be very good. So far, the bun is holding up very nicely. All of the toppings seem to be very well anchored inside. So overall, I think the structural integrity is really excellent. It's all very well put together. So definite bonus points for very excellent thought out construction. Everything is very easy to eat. I'm not having any crumbling, falling pieces of things all over the place. The ratio of the bun and the meat's also very well done. So they've planned out and created a very well balanced burger. And on the most important aspect, the flavor is also quite nice. The meat here is juicy, it's delicious. There's a good balance of all the flavors that go along with the extra toppings. So the spiciness of this and the onion ring that's fried on top of it all are going together very well with the overall aspect of the burger. And this cheese is gluing everything together very nicely. So this burger's been a pleasant, pleasant experience to eat all around. All those major factors have really been right on target and it's all around an excellently balanced burger that really hits all those marks that you want to see in a perfectly prepared burger. Now look at this. These Brussels sprouts look amazing. Now let's see how they taste. Ooh, oh yes. These are perfectly prepared Brussels sprouts. These are uh, right on par with Brussels sprouts I've had in fine dining establishments. It's got really nice flavor. Everything is cooked exactly the way I love Brussels sprouts. My dining companion jumped in and had to grab a few of these as well. And the feedback from their experience was that these were also amazing Brussels sprouts. And it looks like for the Brussels sprouts alone, we're gonna be coming back here sooner than later for the amazing Brussels sprouts. So the magic of these Brussels sprouts isn't that complicated. They're crispy fried, tossed in a sweet and spicy honey sriracha sauce. So it's overall just a very simple preparation that gives a whole lot of good results. Now, of course, uh, in New Orleans and a lot of the rest of the American South, we take a perfectly good healthy vegetable like this and then deep fry it to make it unhealthy in some ways. So. Uh, Definitely keep that balancing act in mind as well. So this is probably not your most healthy preparation of a Brussels sprout with it being deep fried, but darn, it is dang tasty. So it's always a delicate balancing act to make sure that you're getting out enough of your healthier prepared vegetables, such as a boiled Brussels sprout or even a stir fried Brussels sprout. But the deep fried Brussels sprout probably should be enjoyed in more limited quantities because anything that tastes this super awesome, amazing, sometimes unfortunately isn't that healthy for you. The deep frying process uh, is not 
noted generally for the healthiest outcomes, but hey, who knows? Research keeps changing. One day, one day, maybe we'll discover that some deep fried stuff does have certain health benefits. I also have to give Bubs Nola some credit for the really large side serving of these Brussels sprouts. As my dining companion ate a whole bunch of them and I still had a lot myself, here's the last one. So, just like I've totally destroyed these Brussels sprouts, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about these Brussels sprouts. So while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips. I appreciate any help with that. So, thanks so much to everybody at Bub's Nola for the really delicious burger and the great sides. The only feedback I would like to see for improvement is add some iced tea, especially I need my iced tea with lemon, unsweet preferably. And I also wasn't all that thrilled about the condiments and packages. I like my squeeze bottles. Those little packages are just a pain to use. It's just an irritation and they're environmentally wasteful. It's just the uh, squeeze bottles are just more efficient. They make more sense and make everybody happier. Where those little packages just, err, they irritate me. I don't like them, err, err. While in stark contrast, I really do like all of you out there that have tuned into the Knowledgeant channel, especially my Patreons that help keep this channel going. So would you kindly just take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Then, tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.